Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our MTG keywords and we're on day three here. It's Wednesday in South Korea, which means it's Tuesday in the US, which is a uh, kind of a big day that I don't want to talk about. What I am going to talk about is that I'm all out of my twinnings tea. Oh no. But, I, but I've got this. This is actually pretty good. It's called Akbar tea. Um, and I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh no, not Akbar. And that's supposed to take you all seriously and go, oh, what's the problem? And then you go, well, you see. It's a trap. That is a terrible joke. That's not funny, okay? You can do better. Anyway. Okay, so we're looking at the storm keyword today. This is a big one. Storm is very popular. Well, and both as well, but anyway. So please hit like and subscribe. It does make such a big difference. Anyway, what is storm? So this is a keyword ability that which automatically creates a copy of a spell cast for every spell cast before it, every spell. It doesn't matter what kind of spell, any spell, artifact, uh, enchantment, uh, um, again, not land, because you don't cast land, you play land. Every spell casts. So pretty much everything except for lands that come into the battlefield on a turn, that goes into what's called the storm count, and it'll make that many copies. So yeah, especially if someone's like countering spells and stuff, with other spells, you can take advantage of that by like using that to create a bunch of copies as well. It's a crazy mechanic. So adding a lot of low CMC spells to a deck can make it go off very easily. This mechanic is considered extremely overpowered, which it is, yeah. The scale of how unlikely a mechanic is to return to standard, this is called the storm scale after this mechanic. Um, they occasionally do have storm cards released in sets. Even Bloomborough had one, but this is considered a, what is it called? Uh, ba -ba -ba. A special appearance, basically. Um, wait, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark Rosewater, the head designer of MTG, called it probably the most broken mechanic we've ever created. So, yeah. that's a, That gives you an indication of where they're at with that one. Uh, remember, yes, one minor limitation of Storm is that it only does only count cast things not copies so it, like if you cast two storm spells in a row it all the copies you made from the previous storm don't add to the storm count okay so yeah a bit of a limitation there are not much of one anyway does this sound familiar so there are many effects that allow you to copy spells some more recently released cards also feature an updated version of this ability so things like thousand year storm it will make copies of spells based on how many you cast before, but only instants and sorceries. So it's limiting the type of spell, at least. That's some kind of uh, benefit there, but yeah. Oh, cameo. That's the word I was trying to remember before. So this has made an occasional appearance in newer sets. These are considered cameo appearances. Again, like the Bloomborough, Ral, Ral in Bloomborough had it but that's considered a cameo appearance of a mechanic which i didn't know they did before i was researching this so that's kind of interesting number five okay crackling spell slinger my background art she looks so familiar again i always think i recognize people from magic art um sometimes i think they are based on the people this one I don't think actually is, but I can't even place who it is. I think it looks like. Um, anyway. Okay, for three red red for this 2-2 two, two with flash. Big, the major point of this is that it has flash. So when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, so you do have to cast it, you can't use any flicker shenanigans. Um, the next instant or search spell you cast this turn has storm. Again, storm, but limited to instant or sorceries. So that's a bit more balanced at least, but yeah, you can use this to set up all kinds of things. You need to be able to make a lot of mana on someone else's turn, but you get them casting a bunch of things, and then you cast this, and then you cast your like, whatever. Really, if you cast like even Lightning Bolt, you can make multiple copies of Lightning Bolt and just do like three damage 
basically ping the whole board if you got enough of a spell count. Um, this also combines nicely with like low CMC things, and it's red. Red low CMC spells? Yeah, a, a little bit. They have a few options there. Uh, 19 cents? <laughs> Number four. Grape shot. Okay, for one or red, this is a sorcery. That's a big point there. So it deals one damage to any target, and it has storm. One damage doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start making copies, especially if you've got some kind of damage enhancer, which red has plenty of, right? If you've got a damage enhancer, this turns into just like an insane uh, spell. The only real uh, limitation it has is that it is a sorcery. Like, unless you've got some way to cast sorceries at instant speed, you're probably going to be playing this during your turn, so you got to make sure you have like those low CMC spells. Once again, it's red, so it's not hard to do, but yeah. Anyway, 18 cents. Number three. Spreading Insurrection, or in a red, once again, a sorcery. Gain control of target creature you don't control until end of turn. Untap that creature, gains haste until end of turn. And Storm. Four in a red sounds like a lot for a casting cost. To steal someone else's uh, unit, often the casting cost is around three or four. So that's not so high, especially when you're probably going to cast this, like, hopefully at least the second spell in the turn. Or more ideally more right I th I'd say it's only really worth it if you can get like three creatures with this even with three you're sending their own creatures against them and maybe getting those creatures taken out as well like it gives you a lot of options like you can force the creatures to attack in a bad way that g takes them out of the game and maybe also hurts the other players board so yeah you can get a lot done with this this is a uh, Deceptively good, I think. 15 cents? <laughs> Number two. Wing shards. Okay. One white, white. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature storm. So you got to make sure this is a little tricky because you want to make sure they cast things before combat in their main one. Are they going to? Maybe, maybe not. But even if you combine this with like a few inst other instants kind of things, you can get so much out of this. Um, forcing players to sacrifice creatures, especially when it's like limiting it to like attacking creatures or something like that, unless they've got like a token deck where they're just throwing mobs of tokens at you, then this isn't really helpful. But in most decks, especially if you're talking about like a Voltron type of thing, this just shuts off Voltron, right? This is such an amazing ability. Remember, indestructible, hexproof, all of those type of effects, this doesn't care about them. Shroud doesn't care, right? This targets the player, it does not target the unit. So that's what's really good about this, is that it gets around pretty much all those protections that um, creatures will have. And a lot of times the attacking creature is going to be the one that has like indestructible or something like that. So yeah, I think this is something you'll be able to get use out of, and it's only 8 cents. Number one, Ave, I think Ave for gender to ooze, do green, green, green. Uh, this is a legendary, this is a legendary creature that has storm, which sounds not good because the copies become tokens and then the tokens have legendary. So only one of them can stay, right? But Ave for gender ooze isn't legendary if it's a token. All of the tokens are automatically not legendary. Um, it enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on for each other ooze you control. So you could storm and do a bunch of ooze, or you could put a bunch of ooze in the deck. Um, typical Gemini made a, a deck that I really like that's under $25 for this commander. Um, I think it's really good. I really like uh, typical Gemini's videos in general. So I'm going to put it in the, a link up here, and I'll also put a link in the description if you want to check that out. 20 cents only, and this is such a... Oof, gets carried away. A list. Okay, Crackling Spellsinger, 19 cents. Grape Shot, 18 cents. Spreading Insurrection is 15 cents. Uh, Wing Shards is 8 cents. Ave Progenerate Ooze is 20 cents. All right, take it easy.